Welcome to the low side. On this episode, we're out in Huntington Beach, California for the Moto Beach Classic. This event really goes to show how far Super Hooligan Racing has come. What was once a grassroots event now happens in places like this with thousands of people, live music, tons of vendors. So we're gonna get out and talk to some of the people that make this event so awesome, talk to some of the racers, and just enjoy a day of motorcycles out here in the sun on the beach. All right, so we're here with Roland Sands, the man that started started it all with Super Hooligan Circuit and Moto Beach Classic. How do you like this event, man? What did you start it for, and what's it become? You know, the Moto Beach Classic was really just like bringing all the things I like to one place and one spot. And what's even cooler for me is like I grew up here, going onto the beach, being a grom, like playing like boogie boarding out in front of this place when I was like seven years old in church camp, and. Like it's come full circle to us, you know, throwing this big motorcycle event on the sand and bringing racing and music and bike shows and art together. Where do you want to see the event go? You know, I mean, last year was pretty massive. And so this year I like that it's a smaller event, you know, that we don't have such massive music because it's more about motorcycles. This, yeah. this location, this venue, this day, the Moto Beach Classic Solo, it's more about two wheels and it's about the whole culture around two wheels, the whole Southern California yeah. culture in particular. So, Super Hooligan Racing over the years has gotten so much more serious. It's gotten so much faster. The racers have gotten more competitive. Um, what do you think about the shift there and how the series has changed and grown as it's gotten more serious and more competitive? You know, it used to be you could come out to a hooligan race, a Super Hooligan race, and you could potentially win. But now it's like, if you haven't put the work in, you're most likely not gonna win. But I say that, but three years ago, Frankie Garcia came out here on a Ducati they put together two nights before the race and he won the damn thing. Right. It's more competitive now, but not like crazy levels more competitive. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'd love to see it stay core. You know, I'd love to yeah. see it stay fun. I mean, I want it to be fun and I wanna make sure that we do that. So that was a big, a big part of that is choosing the venues and where we go race and how yeah. we're going racing and we build a racetrack in the parking lot at the beach. It's actually a fun track with a jump and it's a TT and it's a little bit of everything. And you know, we're not going hundred mile an hour. It takes a little bit, yeah. a little bit of the fear out of it. I mean, by no means is it safe, but you know, it's safer. Sure, you know? safer than some, than some of the events yeah. for sure. Safer yeah. than the half mile. Yeah. If you could go back and tell yourself something when you started the event, now knowing what you do all these years later, what, what would it be? Maybe go ride your bike instead of trying to get everybody <laughs> else to ride their bikes. I don't know, like, it's been a crazy ass ride. It's been a yeah. tremendous amount of work. Yeah. Um, check on me next year and I'll get, I'll get you maybe a better answer. <laughs> Rad. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us, man. Thanks for yeah. throwing this event. Let's get back out there and enjoy it. Sick. How many times have you crashed? So in total today, since my first practice I went out, I tipped it over once on the bagger, and then another six on the FTR. Just Correct. a casual Almost six, seven. okay. How are you feeling about the race, dude? Dude, I'm feeling psyched about it. Uh, track's super fun. It's cool to have that jump in there, kind of separate some people. It's uh, yeah. 500 pound bikes almost. So with a jump, it's uh, it's not what it's meant to be doing. So it's kind of cool to put it through its paces. Right, and like the makeshift track in the middle of a parking lot at the yeah, beach, you're on not, asphalt. That's it, gotta be a little different. Hey man, it's super hooligan. You never know what you're gonna get. Right. I'm sweaty and out of shape, you know? It was good. Uh, you're realizing that on the last race of the series? Yeah, right. <laughs> When you jump a Harley, the, the one thing that you should do, yeah. the, from my experience, it's not good experience, but you jump and you throttle into the landing and okay. I was getting some cut out. So I was like landing and smacking oh, my face shit. on the on the visor. But you know, I got second. It was good. I'm proud yeah. of that one. Have you raised tool again before? No, no, this is my first time sending thousand pound bikes off ramps. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like uh, like you have an advantage with it being on asphalt rather than dirt? A little bit, just because it's more supermoto feeling than right. it is like road. Yeah. But I have a lot of supermoto experience. Yeah. 
professionally, but just riding a lot of super motorbikes, it kind of feels like that. So, but it's perfect because it's a mix for like it's a perfect mix for a road racer and a flat tracker to like yeah. come and to see like how their talent stacks up. I feel totally. You know, the series is called Hooligan Racing, but it's it's really a bunch of pros on shitty bikes. <laughs> it's like it's not shitty riders on bikes, you know, right? So it's it's uh it's been pretty badass. It's cool like racing with Joe Pop and Debrino and. For me, there's no pressure. I mean, of course, I'm still nervous to do it, but there's no pressure behind it, and just get to come have fun and, and yeah, just try to survive is the main thing. Like yeah. <laughs> What's it like being out here on the beach? I mean, it's obviously a little bit different here. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's really hot, but we have, you know, the breeze if you want to jump in the water, and anytime you put a jump in anything, yep. I have a lot of fun. It's just sort of, we're all here to have fun. We're all here to race and just have a good time. Get that phone out of here. I was like, somebody turn their phone off. It was my fault. I'm the asshole. Ruining the shot. Well, good luck out there. Thanks for talking to us. Great to see you out here. All right, the mains are about to start. We got Joe Kopp, Andy Debrino, and Jordan Graham in first, second, and third for the series. Joe Kopp's got fastest lap in qualifying. So we're out here to watch. It's about to start. Let's see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen. As super hooligan races get faster, the crowds get bigger, the prizes get bigger, and competition gets more serious. So we've talked to a lot of the racers. It seems like that fun spirit of camaraderie is still at the heart of the whole event. So as these events continue to grow, we hope to see that balance maintained. So we hope you like this episode. Like, follow, subscribe, and uh, hope to see you on the next episode of The Low Side. <laughs> He's gonna miss it. Stormtroopers can't hit anything. <laughs>